a, a, a big upheaval occurred uh, in January. I turned 70 years old on January 3rd of uh, 2005, and uh, three weeks later got fired. <laughs> I thought, yeah, pretty good. I made it to 70 without getting fired. And I never got fired in my life until age 70. And then a lot of people said to me, uh, you're 70 years old. Uh, you've built housing. Your leadership has resulted in building houses for a million people. Uh, why don't you quit? And I said to them, look, I'm not only not dead, I don't even feel bad. <laughs> And, and, and the Bible that I read has no scripture that I have been able to find that says, serve God until you're 65 or 70 and then quit and get you a fishing pole and go enjoy yourself somewhere in Florida or somewhere else in some tropical area. Uh, so I, I, I have always, and Linda I know feels the same way, I've always felt blessed by what we do. And... Uh, I just felt like God was not through with us yet. And so immediately, we never considered quitting. And so we formed a new organization uh, immediately and, uh, and, and started off with this new group, which we call the Fuller Center for Housing. And now we, we're in, you know, we've been going a little over two years. We've already expanded into 13 states and six other countries. And the Nonprofit Times said it's the fastest growing nonprofit they've ever known. Uh, and we have had tremendous support, uh, incredible encouragement, and I've never been a part of anything ever in my life that is more exciting than what we're doing right now. Um, in mid-September, we had a, a big uh, blitz bill. It was the second of what we call it, uh, Milton and Linda Fuller blitz bill. We had it in Shreveport, Louisiana. And we had 500 people there from 32 states, uh, from Canada, from Scotland, from Romania. And starting on Monday and ending on Friday, we built nine new houses and renovated five others. And uh, now we are getting ready to build in the Chattahoochee Valley of East Central Alabama, West Central Georgia, uh, El Salvador. We're building 100 houses there. We're building 80 houses in Nigeria. In my home area of Alabama, building a project of 500 houses. And uh, we're in communication now, with at least 40 other cities in this country and a dozen other countries around the world, uh, this new work is, has created enormous excitement uh, and, and brings so much joy uh, to us. We've uh, pioneered a new program called uh, Greater Blessing Box. You know, the, the teaching in Scripture is that it's blessed to receive, but it's more blessed to give. And so we're beginning to do renovation projects for a lot of... Uh, uh, older people. This Greater Blessing Box is a new concept that is uh, brand new and nobody's ever had this that I know of uh, and we've introduced it uh, at, at, in Southwest Georgia at Cornelia Farm. We introduced it down in the Gulf Coast where we we're building renovating houses for the hurricane victim families and then I told you about renovating five houses over in Shreveport, Louisiana and what we do is find elderly people and there are tens of thousands of them in this country who own their own home and their own fixed income, typically Social Security, and the front porch is falling off, or the bathroom leaks, or the three windows are broken, and they don't have the money to fix it. And they don't want to leave their home. They don't want to move in a nursing home. They want to stay right where they are, but they can't, they can't afford to call up a contractor. So what we do in the Fuller Center is take volunteers out to such houses. We fix the front porch that's falling off. Uh, there was one... Uh, house owned by a dear woman named Idella Reed in Shreveport, Louisiana. Her front porch had fallen off, and this dear woman could no longer go in the front door of her house. She had to go around to the back door, and the back door was so bad she could barely get in. And three windows were broken, and the, the sink leaked in the kitchen, and the bathroom floor was rotting. So we sent a whole bunch of people into Idella Reed's house and fixed it up, and one day she gathered all of the builders there around her, and she said, I don't have words to thank you for what you're doing for me, so I want to sing you a song. And she sang, The Lord's Going to Make a Way. And all of these big macho builder men were standing there crying because she touched them. She touched them, expressing her gratitude. And another woman, Rosie Schaffer, uh, we fixed her front porch and her sink was falling in and, and her... Uh, 
kitchen and bathroom was in bad shape. We fixed it all up. And she said when we dedicated the house and gave her the Greater Blessing Box, uh, she said, if I had a thousand hearts, I couldn't thank you enough for what you've done uh, for me. But what we do is put envelopes in here in the Greater Blessing Box, and uh, we may spend $5,000 in doing that renovation work, and we say to the persons, these people have donated their work to fix up your house. We, in the Fuller Center, have given the materials. We bought the materials for you, and we spent $5,000. We simply I want to give you this box, and we put a number of envelopes in here, but we simply want to give you the opportunity to pass it on. 